Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In today's Power BI tip, I want to share a technique for showing labels only for the last point in your charts. This can be a very powerful technique, especially when you have a bunch of line charts or even column charts that have time or some other component that is increasing in this direction and you just want to provide a label only for the last point. You could also think of this as label only for a highest point or something like that as well. But if you just want to uh, highlight the highest point, then a better way to do that would be through conditional formatting. But if I want to just add a label for the last point, like this population growth or sales growth over a period of time, then uh, it is not so straightforward because if you add labels, then like if you take this chart and go to data labels and enable them, Power BI will show labels all over the place. They do have a an interesting uh, option for certain types of charts called label density, where you can adjust the density of the labels, but uh, that doesn't quite cut it. I'll show you the whole thing from a blank page here. Uh, we got a very, very simple data model here with some population data and a calendar table to support it. Uh, this is uh, New Zealand population data that is publicly available on the Statistics New Zealand website. So I downloaded that to play with this idea here. Let's say I want to see the trend of population. So I'll put the date on my axis and then I can put uh, my total population which uh, here onto the values and I'll get this kind of a weird looking chart. This is because uh, the um, Oops, I should not have done that. Uh, I'll get rid of this and then add again. I'll delete these two and then I'll drill down. And then we can see the trend over every quarter since uh, 2008 when the measurement data is available. Right, you could see it with, went from 2008 quarter to 4.2 million to 4.8 million, uh, 4.85 million. Right, that's the growth. And if I want to add a label here, because there's a lot of values and, uh, and then Power BI would add labels all over the place. Uh, depending on the kind of data you have, you have this label density option. You can reduce the density. So Power BI will show the labels only at important points. I don't know how it determines that. I find this uh, quite useful in some cases, the density option. And you can set it to 100% all the data points or uh, just uh, top five values or something like that. And that's probably a good option. But let's say you really want a label for the last point. How do you do that? So I'll get rid of uh, this labels for now. And then what you need to do is, if you add labels, then it'll add labels all over the place. So you need to figure out a way to just add a label there. One way to cheat Power BI here is, if I can add another line, which only has one point that corresponds to the latest date, then that would do. So we create two different measures. One is a latest period measure, which is my, uh, my latest period as per data. So it would be last date of all periods, right? Uh, the period is the date column here. Uh, we don't want to do this on the calendar table because then the calendar table would give me the la very last date of calendar table which could stretch to the end of financial year whereas your actual data might stop somewhere in the middle so you want to do this on the original fact table. Okay, so we get this. This would be whatever that date is. I can show this to you in a card so we can quickly examine that. Um, this would correspond to the latest measurement uh, data that is available, which is on the 6th, uh, July 30th of 2018, about one year ago, but uh, that's how statistics work, right? They measure and then they clean the data and then publish it to usually six months or nine months down the line. So that's my latest date. And then what I want to do is I want to calculate what is the total population as of that date. So this would be another measure, latest population uh, which is a calculate of total population filtering calendar with calendar date is equal to latest period. So we just go and filter on calendar because calendar table is providing me that date context uh, for charting and whatnot. You could have done this on the period data here as well, but usually we end up having a calendar table in the model anyway. So the date table is probably a good place to do this kind of filtering, right? 
because we are doing the filtering on on equal to a measure value we will use the filter formula here and then this would give me just one value which uh, if i if i take this and then turn it into a table we can see that for each quarter that's the population and if i add my latest population then that would be blank all over the place except the last one in the last one it is uh, 4.85 right so everywhere else uh, calendar is uh, trying to filter for a different date than this and that would result in a blank table and hence that value right you want to deliberately create this kind of a measure normally we create measures where latest population is shown all through but in this case we want to have only there okay once that is there then we can turn this into a line chart uh, and then we will uh, drill down to the next level and at this point the line has only one point so when there is only one point usually power bi just plots it as a marker rather than a continuous line and then you get this nice looking chart as well uh, with the last point as a nice, nice bubble i like this really because it kind of shows where the current value is now if i add labels right hmm Power BI is trying to show me labels all over the place. At this point, I thought, oh, this is coming to a place where we have to get rid of the label and put a card for the label. And I was not really a fan of the card for label because the card needs to have same filter context as as this chart, right? So then uh, I look at, there is a customized series option. So we can actually tell Power BI how I want my labels for each of the series. I got total population. I don't want to show labels on that. So I'll turn it off, but I want latest population on, right? Uh, if you turn it off, the other one, I think this one would be on anyway, because you're asking for labels. And then you can uh, set up the position and, and other things here, age, the density, etc. So this is how you can label the last point. The advantage of using this method versus a single card is I can make this chart, I can copy this and make a different chart only for uh, let's say female population so I can add sex as a filter and then say female and then I can see female trend with their population label last point whereas if I want to add a card with my uh, latest population I will get the answer but it will always be 5 million whether I'm looking at female or male so I would need to make another card and then set that filter to female uh, which creates unnecessary duplication for us uh, whereas this approach will will make you do it like this so this is how uh, it's demoed here uh, you could have labels for overall number and then slice it numbers for male versus female or different products or whatnot and as you interact for example i want to see what's going on with the 25 to 29 age group whoa look at this they had the population went from 268 to 380 with a 42 percent increase so this is like new zealand had a baby boom kind of sorts in the last 10 years where a lot of kids that were born in probably 80s and later uh, late 80s and early 90s are now hitting the 20 to 25 age group 25 to 29 age group and they are getting into the working population and contributing to the society by taxes and whatnot and uh, that explains but the, you could see the hockey stick kind of thing you know it was quite flat and then it just boop, went up uh, so that's uh, that's the tip for you I hope you like this uh, this is a very good way to illustrate important numbers without compromising uh, the data intensity of your report and make them look crisp of course you might be thinking oh Chendu X Power BI offers all these tool tips on the hover why do I even need a label there uh, this is because not everybody would would go and interact with the reports all the time they want to first read it this is the first glance and then I will go and investigate so that label adds critical information there another technique that I just want to highlight before we wrap up is sometimes when you have a large timeline like this from 2008 to 2018 it's 10 years and every time you're looking at the numbers you're going all the way here to read the access labels there you can also tell power bi to show the access labels on the right hand side which is one more way to enhance the readability of your chart so you would go to your uh, sorry y-axis in this case and then the position can be on the right this will make the readability unfortunately there is no way to show 
access on both sides uh, which i hope will be a feature added sometime down the line it uh, which will be useful especially for really large timelines uh, or or list of items that's all for me now i hope you enjoyed this talk to you again in another video bye bye